Macca's Guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here and welcome to my collectibles guide for Sniper Elite 5. I'll be taking you through all 8 missions of the game and showing you all 152 collectibles. Each mission in the game has 19 collectibles and they are spread amongst the categories of personal letters, hidden items, stone eagles, workbenches, and classified documents. At any point you can pause your game, go to service record, and go to collectibles to see how many you have for the mission you're on. The first one we can grab here is a classified document, although I don't think you can actually miss this one as it's mandatory for mission progression. You'll do a little bit of a tutorial and you'll come to this enemy, which you will take out and search for the boat house key. Use that key to open up the door and find the classified document directly in front of you. The name of the collectible will also appear in the top right corner when I collect it and you can find the detailed list of collectibles in the YouTube description. The next collectible we can find is the rifle workbench. Obviously use the map to make sure you're in the same location as me, but we'll be given the objective of searching the processing plant, which is this little outpost here. I've taken out the guards and I'm gonna walk inside. There is a small cutscene, which I'm gonna skip just to keep the video nice and concise. And once inside, there is a back room with an enemy in it. You can either break in using a crowbar that you picked up or some bolt cutters rather, or you can pick the lock and as soon as you're in, just take out the enemy and here you will find a rifle workbench. Unlocking workbenches allows you to not only customize your weapon, but it actually unlocks the attachments for that weapon as well. So it's very advantageous to make sure you visit these and then obviously customize your weapon so that it fits your play style. Now in some sense, Sniper Elite 5 is a bit of an open world game. You can kind of go wherever you want, whenever you want, but I'm gonna be doing the objectives in the order that they are laid out and in the common sense order, I think most people will do them. If we continue along that path to the north, you'll end up at this small outpost. If you look to your right hand side, you'll see this stone eagle sitting on top of one of the buildings and we'll just snipe at it to destroy it. Then we can also find a personal letter in this outpost just sitting on top of a box on the left hand side of the road so make sure you pick it up before following the road to our next objective. Take out local communications. I've now made my way to the north to the large kind of radar building. I believe it's one of our main objectives here. You can blow it up using satchel charges or you can just disarm it by following the yellow cable and interacting with the box to power it off. Either way, when you're in here, you should be able to find a satchel charge. There are three or four littered around this area, but make sure that you have at least one. With one, you want to go inside using the left hand door, go down the stairs and into the central room. In this room, you should find a safe and you can interact with this safe in order to plant a satchel charge. You can also find the radar safe code, but I'm not really sure where to find it. I'm sure it's not too far. Light the fuse or shoot the satchel charge to blow open the safe and inside find your second classified document, which will detail the air support side objectives on the mission. After getting the last collectible, you should now have some blue markers on your screen that will show you where you can go in order to do side objectives. And I would highly recommend doing them not only for achievements and trophies, but just to enjoy the game to its full potential. You'll end up in this small base that I just showed on the map. You can take out the artillery here and you will need an additional satchel charge. Once you go inside the building, you can light it or shoot it as always to blow open the safe. And in this safe, you can find classified document number three which is the Atlantic report. Atlantic wall. The building all that keeps Pretty much in this same building, we can also find personal letter number two. So we'll just head up the stairs and go kind of to the middle of the building, if that makes sense. And you should find a ladder that goes into the attic. Take the ladder to go up there. It's not, it's a decent place to try, try and take out some enemies. But more importantly for us, for this video, you can find a collectible, so grab it before moving on. We've now kind of made it into the top left corner of the map. There is a gun battery optional objective here, and this is probably one of the most heavily guarded bases in this mission. But you can sneak your way through or just blast your way through kind of how I did. You'll end up finding a guard that can drop you a key. 
and then you can use that key to get into this door. You don't need the key, you can use the satchel charge instead. However, using the key will save you a satchel charge for a side objective later. Once inside, just to the right hand side, you will find a safe. And for this safe, just use the satchel charge as I'm not sure where to find the code. And it's often just faster to do it this way since there are plenty of satchel charges. Plant the satchel charge, blow it up, and inside find classified document number four. This will detail another side objective for us known as beach defenses. Additionally, in this room, you can also find the pistol workbench. So go up, unlock some pistol customization, and work on your weapon while you're here. Next up, we can find Stone Eagle number two if we follow the path and go southbound. Here, if you stand at this exact point, you'll see the small village in front of you and a small village to your right. But if you look to your left, you can spot the hotel in the distance. And on top of the hotel, you can find a Stone Eagle. Don't worry, we'll actually end up going here for the next collectible, so if you can't find this, you'll see it in just a minute after we grab the hidden item that's coming up. While on the same road as the last collectible we just picked up, go to the right hand side and you'll see a small little village. Here is actually where you'll extract from the mission, but make sure you don't extract until after you have all of the collectibles. Don't worry, it's pretty obvious when you are about to extract as you have to interact with a specific door. But if you go inside this building and go into the kitchen, you can find an FFI flag sitting on the sink. Then we'll make our way a little bit deeper into that larger city and we will end up at the hotel. There's some pretty obvious signs. On top of the hotel is the stone eagle we had just shot, one collectible prior. But once you take out all the enemies or sneak your way in, go upstairs and you'll find a small room with a kind of hidden side room. Inside of here, you'll find a safe. You know where we're going with this one. Plant the satchel charge, blow it up, and inside find personal letter number three. We've then made our way all the way into kind of the edge of the city and towards our objective of finding Marcel, and he is inside of this building. And there are two collectibles while we're here before we go for that objective. Go inside on the main floor at the back of the building on the couch, you can find personal letter number four. And then what we'll need to do is climb up to the top floor. You can do that by using the vines on the front or back of the building and then climbing through a window. Once inside of here, you'll find Marcel and you can interact with them to find a key and progress the story. But you can also find the SMG workbench, which you'll want to interact with and, you know, tune your weapon, unlock those attachments and whatnot. If we follow the main road down towards the beach, you'll end up at this curve here. There is a beach defense side objective we can take out that should be automatically marked on your map from the collectibles we've been getting. So if you want to do side objectives, that's up to you. But if you go into this building, which is kind of the last building before this town square opens up, up the stairs and on the desk, find hidden item number two, a photograph. If you go a little bit further down the road and then hook around and end up on the boardwalk, follow the boardwalk all the way to the end. Here you can find a new starting point if you wanna go and light the fire. But at the very end of the boardwalk, you'll find this pagoda and inside you will find personal letter number five. You can activate the nearby starting point just to pick a specific area to spawn if you redo the mission, but those aren't mandatory by any means. I've then done all of my side objectives and ended up at the final beach defense. There is a vantage point uh, on the right side of the map, but we are going to be shooting a stone eagle on top of this vantage point. So you can do this from a pretty wide variety of places from around the map, but you'll be here to do your side objective or you'll end up at the vantage point itself to get some uh, reconnaissance done, but take out the stone eagle while you're here. Last but not least, to wrap up all of the areas in the mission, we've kind of ended up right in the middle of the map. There's this small little outpost with three buildings. If you follow the road into it, uh, there will be a building on your right. It's kind of a barn, and inside of this barn, we can find our final hidden item. So grab that and another collectible, the personal letter number six, inside of this two-story building with the red roof. Crouch underneath the bar and head up the ladder. 
at the top of the ladder at your feet, you should be able to find the personal letter. This should be 19 out of 19 for the mission. If you want, make sure you pause the game, go to service record, go to collectibles, and make sure you have all of them before exfiltrating the mission and you are good to go. Thank you for watching. A special thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show, and hopefully I see you soon. Peace.